Hi there ladies and gents, boys and girls, it is Frosty Jack here. I hope you're all well and enjoying yourselves. So today we're going to start it out in the 2x2 two two and we have got the Gorilla Cookies in here by Elevate Genetics. And of course we are running the Migro Array 2. Now we are in week, or week 2, so day 14 of Flower Today. And well, I've got some really bad news, yet again, yet a fucking again. So, like I say, um, I had problems with these before, so these, like I say, are from Elevate Genetics. Um, the first, I bought eight seeds in total, feminized seeds. The first four that I popped, um, I had quite a few issues with this going back a few months ago now. Um, and basically didn't get past about week four of veg, something like that. And I just chucked them in the bin because they were so weak and shit. Anyway, um, I decided that I was going to take a chance and run these, the last four that I had. Um, all four germinated, one was really weak, so I chucked that. These other three seem to be relatively happy and healthy. Um, so yeah, decided to, to run them and take a chance on them. Um, and well, that chance did not pay off one little bit. Um, every single one of them, well, I say it's every single one, there's only three, um, but they've all turned into hermaphrodites. And this one over here was the short, stocky one of the lot. This is one I thought if anyone was going to be a good, true female, it'd be this one. And as you can see, we've got pollen stacks stacking up there. Uh, on this one over here on the left, um, we haven't got so many pollen sacs on this, but we still, if that'll focus, we still have pollen sacs forming there. Well, I know that you can see a white pistol coming out of that, but there is a pollen sac down next to that as well. Also just here, they are, you can see the pollen sac on the left-hand side there. Um, so that one's a hermaphrodite as well. And then we've got the plant up at the back. Let's see if I can get some shots of these too. So a plant up at the back there, and you can see a pollen sac forming there, and there's multiple sites where we got pollen sacs forming. Now I did think to myself, was it due to the stress that I put them over before we flipped them in the flower? Because I remember I did take um, take cuttings off of them, top and back quite hard, and what have you. Not ideal before flower, but it's not the end of the world. And with good, strong genetics and, and sexually stable genetics, you shouldn't have an issue. Um, but yeah, so taking that into account, the cutting thing, the kind of stress, this one over here, this smaller one of the three, um, didn't have major work done it at all. All I did was take off two lateral branches, um, two of the lower lateral branches. So the stress was really minimized on her altogether. Um, and she's still throwing out pollen sacs as well. Um, so to me, uh, uh, this is basically down to poor breeding, poor sexual stability, basically lack of testing um, of, their, of their stock. Fortunately, you can't get these seeds anymore. Um, after I complained, I, I complained maybe about a month after uh, the, the first lot of seeds I ever popped out of this pack, out of the, the Gorilla Cookies pack, um, because they were so shit. And, you know, I complained about it because they were quite expensive. And uh, not long after that, the seeds were taken down from the site and they weren't for sale anymore. Um, so whether, you know, whether my complaint had anything to do with it or whether they had multiple complaints, which would not surprise me. Um, yeah, um, not very good. So uh, I don't often say this and I don't like to um, get too bitchy about things, but... Uh, but yeah, I would um, I would definitely be careful with getting anything from, from them again anyway, that's for sure. Oh, I certainly won't be getting anything from them again. Um, they never actually got back to my, uh, my response or my complaints either, to be perfectly honest. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, a bit pissed off about that. Anyway, so enough of that moaning. This is all getting cut down. I haven't decided what I'm going to put in here yet. It's a toss up between the after dinner breath number two cut or the orange juice. I have got a load of orange juice, um, which I'm glad I kept all those different, or uh, all the cuts of the orange juice. So I might be able to, might put orange juice in there, might put after dinner breath in there. I'm not 100% sure because I'm not decided on the after dinner breath yet. I'm not sure whether I like it or not. I do like it, but I don't know whether I like it enough worth to run it again. Anyway, enough of me waffling on. Um, in this tent here, obviously all we've got is a little cover crop going on in here. This bit of rye grass that you see coming through. There is a bit of clover popping through in places too, but um, 
but uh, yeah when I put this cover crop in it didn't have much light and I think the top dried out a little bit too much um, so uh, some of the seeds uh, didn't germ well they did germinate and then died pretty quickly but nonetheless we have got a bit of a cover crop going in here um, I have got the, to um, the, the soil test results back um, I'm still waiting on um, on the friend to get back to me about uh, he's kindly offered to uh, well I actually asked him this time if he would mind looking over them and I've just seen the email and uh, yeah he kindly uh, said that he would uh, he would take a look at them so uh, thank you very much for that um, that's, uh, that's a massive help um, so yeah next week then I'll go over what I've done to amend this and I'll show you the test results as well um, for what I've got back on there but like I say orange juice will be going in there hopefully today um, anyway over to the 2x4 and we have got the master cushion here and well as you can see on the left here we've had a bit of an issue so over this past week um, I decided to take the cuttings earlier on this week actually um, because obviously I needed to get some cuttings done and then wanted to flip them over into flower. This subsequently is the first day of flower for them or the first short day. Now all in all everything is relatively healthy so these were the shorter stockier plants of the lot these were the taller plants of the lot so where i took cuttings from from these were off the lower laterals because i didn't want to take anything from the tops because like i say they were very stocky short and, and slower in their growth if you like so you know um i didn't want to take too much off the top because these guys would have or girls would have just blown away up here um but as you can see we have had issues with these two mainly um, not so much this one at the back just these two here which is kind of odd um, if there was something extremely off in the soil or something I was doing I would expect all of them to be affected um, but yeah these two in particular have been badly affected now it looks to me a lot um, like a severe magnesium deficiency um, but I have fo I have given them a folia of magnesium and uh, I probably will again next week. It has developed quite rapidly ever since I did the topping and what have you. I have kind of uh, stabbed it the sort of uh, thinking that it could possibly be um, not overwatering, but um, uh, how to put it? Basically, they were drinking a lot of water. Um, they they got a good heavy watering um, before I did the the taking the cuttings. Obviously, took the cuttings and took a, a, a massive amount of vegetation off of these two plants. Um, basically, because they were so big and so leggy, they needed to have uh, have a real good haircut. Um, and whether you know they then have almost become the water that surrounded them they haven't been able to drink so they've become a little bit suffocated um, which in turn has caused problems with uptake I do not know I'm just I'm just being a little bit cautious at the moment um, and it's a little bit irritating but nonetheless you know I'm gonna go with it I mean the other like I say the other four are perfectly happy it's just these two that have got issues um, so yeah just watching that at the moment um, I have got uh, what I will be using for a little folia. So I have been doing folias on these anyway, just to keep them happy. Um, but um, yeah, I have got another little plan to go here. I've also in this tent got a little issue with thrips. Now this is the first time I have ever had issues with thrips. And if I get the camera down in here now, I should be able to show you one on this leaf. But I don't know if it's going to show up so you're just gonna have to bear with me uh, one second see if I can touch it and get it to focus no I can't get it to focus guys I'm afraid you see that little black dot there basically on that leaf that's pretty much center or central of the camera that there is a thrip they are you can just about see it now that little on, on the little side leaflet there and um, that little black thing is a thrip and um, yeah, cut a long story short, um, I have had a little issue with thrips in here. I did initially think that this could have been thrips, but this this is not thrip damage. Um, the thrip damage is, is this kind of um, down in here that you can see all this light stuff here. Also another telltale sign of thrips is just down in there. You see that kind of like slimy white stuff. 
Um, yeah, that's uh, that's basically where they've been feeding and sucking sucking sap out of the out of the leaves. Basically, um, I haven't got a massive issue in here. It's only a small issue, but it can turn into a massive issue if left unchecked. Um, and one of the best ways to tackle these guys is well, there's multiple ways you can use predators, um, um, beneficials, and predators and bits and pieces to kill them off. Um, you can also use a uh, wetting agents. You can use pesticides. I would not recommend using pesticides. I mean, as a living organic and pretty much all organic, um, you know, try to keep it organic, guys. And pesticides, are, generally speaking, aren't selective. You're going to kill some of your beneficials and and the pest at the same time. And what we don't want to do is kill the beneficials if we can help it. So. Um, I have been using, and I haven't ever gone across Dr. Forrest yet, uh, I haven't really covered him, I've been using Dr. Forrest products for quite a while now, not a long time, but maybe the best part of a year. Um, I actually started out with um, Dr. Forrest's, um, it was apple mulch, it was a soil conditioner apple mulch, uh, which I used on my first living soil bed, which was a beautiful product, I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, and then I went to get uh, a wetting agent, and this is the wetting agent I use from uh, from Dr. Forrest, and it is made with Indian soap nuts, fresh aloe vera, cinnamon, lemongrass, thyme, and all the other bits and pieces in there. A fantastic product. I would highly, highly recommend this. So I have been using this as part of my IPM. I've been using it with just doing foliars anyway, but this has been part of my IBA, uh, IPM, um, and also this EM5 pest and disease concentrate here and this is from uh, Dr. Forrest so I've been using this just for these thrips basically just recently um, and it has seemed to have got the, the numbers down um, I wouldn't say it's completely got rid of them but it's definitely kept things at bay um, but uh, I do like this product. I have been using it just as part of my IPM anyway. Um, but uh, but I've given these girls here at least four treatments in the past two days, uh, morning and evening, just to basically keep those thrips under control. I've never had thrips before. I don't want the issue to explode. I haven't seen them travel over to the other plants just yet. So, uh, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. But that has been basically what I've been tackling them with was it is this em5 uh, from dr forest and the wetting agent and what i'll be using for these girls here beans is we're seeing a few a few issues going on again like i say i've i've used the uh the em5 and the wetting agent and i'll be using the wetting agent again today and also a bit of dr forest organic xxx seaweed and humic fertilizer um, again, this is a fantastic product, an absolutely beautiful product, um, fantastic for the foliars and bits and pieces. Um, you can also use it, it says there, as, as, um, as a, a soil drench as well. Um, but I've been primarily, par primarily using it um, as a foliar. So yeah, I'll be giving the girls a bit of a blast with that today. Um, and yeah, just see how things go. Um, like I say, I'm not 100% sure what is going on here. Um, yeah, it, it could be a number of things, so I'm just trying to eliminate issues at the moment. The one thing I can say is, um, I really don't believe that the thrips have caused that much damage because there really isn't that many of them anyway. Um, so yeah, that to me and the way it's acting is more of a more of a deficiency because you can see it's starting to come into the newer leaves now. So it's starting on the older leaves and making its way to the newer leaves at, at quite a fast rate as well. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. But like I say, have a few issues there. Mm, uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Those two might end up getting cut down. We'll we'll, we'll see. But uh, not the end of the world. Still, um, it's nice to play and live and learn and all of that kind of shit. Anyway, over to the three by three. I'm sorry, I've been waffling for 14 minutes. So yeah, we're in the three by three here. It is day 28. We have got the Migro Array three in here the orange juice and it smells amazing in here. The canopy has developed beautifully in here. I'm very, very impressed with how it's gone on. Uh, oh, excuse me. Um, it is, uh, has been uh, still been pretty damn cold in here and we're at about 24 degrees at the moment. You know, it's not the end of the world. Um, we're still gonna get quite a nice yield off of this, I think, and the overall quality um, touch wood should be, should be pretty damn good. 
um, it, just the flower side, the, the, the flowers are going to be slightly smaller than they would if the uh, if the temperatures were on point. But still, not the end of the world. Like I say, very very happy with what's going on in here. And uh, yeah, smells amazing. I did the top dress yesterday as well. Um, we went for five of the Bloom Two. Uh, that's five tablespoons per pot. So five tablespoons of Bloom Two, five tablespoons of the worm castings. Five tablespoons of the malt barley powder and one tablespoon of the micro boost. Like I say, that was per pot, and that's of the Living Source fertilizers, uh, dry amendments. Uh, if you're interested in those, there is a description, there is a link in the description below along with a discount code as well. So, yeah, if you're interested in trying those out, I would highly, highly recommend them. Um, but yeah, all in all, very, very happy with what's going on in this tent. I cannot wait to get this harvested. I've uh, I have now ran out of uh, orange juice of my personal stash, so uh, yeah, I'm a little bit upset. I love the orange juice, so I'm really annoyed that I've ran out of that. Anyway, over to the veg tent finally, and uh, yeah, nothing much changes in here it has has changed in here. So we've got orange juice, a load of orange juice cuts here, a load more orange juice cuts just here, uh, another orange juice cut here and then the after dinner breath number two cut down in there We've still got the old pots in here from the number one cut and the sith og um, which really need to get chucked out that's me being lazy uh, after dinner breath mother there coming back to health a little bit and orange juice mother down in there as well so yeah a few different odds and sods going on in there so ladies and gents that is about it for this week i know it's been a bit of a, a waffle on um yeah hopefully we'll get these issues sorted out and uh, next week we should see see some better development but uh time will tell anyway guys and girls thank you ever so much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll be back next week take care for now